Hi, I'm Gigi, and this is No Cap. No Cap means no lie. We keep it 100 in our own element, our own vibe, our own way. Thanks for joining us again as we explore Tulsa through the fun, powerful, and passionate lens of the town's next generation. Today, we'll be talking to two young men who grew up in North Tulsa. You'll get to experience North Tulsa through their eyes as an amazing community that continues to survive and thrive in the face of the massacre and its long history of disenfranchisement. And as always, we're keeping it real, no cap. Tulsa, North Tulsa. For many, it stands alone separate from the rest of the city, sort of like an enclave. The corner of green country where the state's dark history collides with the present day and the culture of the town starts with the energy and creativity of its young. We rarely get a glimpse into the lives of these people, their energy, their vibe. A reflection of nothing more than subjective media coverage which highlights crime and paints the distorted lens of its residents, the north side is filled with culture, pride, and resilience which has cemented its heritage in the history of African-American and Afro-Native American Oklahoma. We get the honor of meeting two young artists born and raised in the nitty. Both graduates of Central High School, both walkers of the same neighborhood, but in different sneakers. Both brothers and families from exits off the L.L. Tisdale both aspiring to use their voices and the rhythm of their experiences to, to bring the world to the north. To be young, to be gifted. What's up y'all, it's SDL Bubba, a forgotten child. I'm 22 years old, Tulsa, Oklahoma, born and raised. Uh, what's up y'all, it's E Money, um, 19, um, Tulsa, Oklahoma, north. How does it feel being from North Tulsa? It feel good being from North Tulsa. Yeah, like, like especially as being a rapper, because like North Tulsa is known for like kind of being like poverty stricken. So it's like like us putting on for North, it feel kind of good trying to get up out of the city and do more to bless the North Tulsa, to get back to North Tulsa. That's what I'm doing it for. I mean, I feel like it's a blessing to be from North Tulsa. I mean, if you're from Tulsa, I feel like. If you're gonna be from anywhere in Tulsa, it gotta be the north side. Like, we got some greats that then came out the north side. You mm -hmm. feel me? And then we got greats coming up. I feel like right now I just told I was just talking to my brother the other day and I was telling him Tulsa got a spotlight on him right now, especially with the music like we getting known. We got a little buzz and now it's like what we gonna do with it. So I feel like it's a blessing, especially like the age I'm in now, it's like now it's the perfect time to take over. What's, what's gonna be like? What they gonna say about Tulsa when Atlanta open back up? When LA open back up? When everything open back up? What they gonna say about Tulsa? Is we gonna take this chance now? Or is we gonna just let it go? Is it gonna flow in the wind? We just gotta change the community. We gotta build everything that they tore down. Everything that got tore down, it's like centers and stuff where kids could go and play and stuff. It's getting tore down because yeah, it's yeah. like. Ain't nobody go play basketball nowhere outside or nothing. They only giving them one option. The streets. The streets. <laughs> <laughs> but they gonna be there forever. The streets gonna be there forever. Like, if people I know that play sports, sports ain't gonna be there forever. It's a lot of stuff that they taking away from kids young. Yeah, we got like, I got a lot of sports young. Like, I mean, I got to play growing up, but now it's like everything that I seen. It's like going away, so you see more, you see more gang banging, you see more this and that, cause they taking it all from us, but it's like, that's what they want us to do. You feel me, like, that's what they want. That's what they want us to see. Yeah, my upbringing, I, I mean, I wasn't playing sports when I was little, cause like, I wasn't good. So I was trying to be like my brother, and he was in the street, so I was behind him. So, and then yeah, I ain't start playing sports until I moved away from him and just start being on my own. And then I got into sports, then um, then go to college. So just back back to the streets because there wasn't nothing to do in music really. In the studio scene, so that's what I be doing. Like certain community centers is getting shut down, like the West maybe. Yeah. They got shut down, and I know that's like kind of a rough area as well. So they got shut down. And I know they had a lot of basketball games going up there. A lot of kids going up there. They got shut down. A so lot of, they, a lot of north. I mean, yeah, a lot of north side kids north. went not up there too. North. It was. 
a lot of community events like that. Yeah. King Spencer will host a basketball yeah. tournament up there and stuff yeah. like that, but it'll just bring everybody together. And they they close that down. That's and they just close it down. They tore it down. Like, it and it, it, it just like spread them apart. Like they ain't got nothing, you know what I'm saying? Come together for for what? Okay. Now it's a war zone. Hmm. All right. It's just that. Do you feel like the master plays a role in race relations today? I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I heard about it, but I ain't really, I ain't really like, I ain't really just learned nothing about it until until I, I mean, until I was like with you. Yeah, I could say that because we talked about it a lot, especially when we was doing like all our little. Uh, spoken word and stuff we used to do all that we used to talk used to make us go deeper like especially when you used to me and bro was on stage doing it me and q was on stage doing it so how old were you that's what we was like 16. okay that's when you had it you had used to make us go deeper like you used to make us i remember we had people crying because that's how deep like we brought it out we didn't brought it to reality before i mean i think it's crazy because um, like I found that at a later age, so it kind of like, you know what I'm saying, kind of made me mad, especially knowing it was a, a black area, so it was, I thought it was crazy. By the time I was old enough to really like see it, I, I wouldn't have knew, I wouldn't have knew a bomb hit our city, like, mm. I, I thought Tulsa was just, mean. I feel like if that don't happen, I feel like our city, it, it would have been, like where we at now, that's what been, that would have been back then. I mean, it's crazy. How, if that didn't happen, if that didn't happen, all yeah. the music, all the everything, everything that's going on now, it would have started back then. So Tulsa probably with Oklahoma City and Tulsa, like even just like this state, because from Oklahoma City to Tulsa, that's where the pipeline is. That's where the biggest pipeline is. Yeah. I feel like that's what would have put. We would have been like a LA or, or you know what I'm saying, like an Atlanta or something like that. I mean, they like they just covered it up. Like we just had they a mural just, on the street, and they literally covered it up. Then, the same day, like it, and the time frame is crazy because we got construction everywhere into in Tulsa, and, and they ain't touched it up. Like it's like it's crazy because like you know, like I said, I found that at a later age because like you know, schools never talked about that. You know, you, nobody never talked about it. I feel like that should be talked about more in schools and like elementary schools and middle schools and stuff. It's not even just that though, it's everything. All of it, it's all gonna play, it all play a role into what's going on right now. You can't even just single one, one, one out. Because it's like, they been doing my people dirty for years. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, everywhere. Not even just the north side, everywhere. They been doing us dirty. And it's like now, I think they, I think it's like, it's scary in the world. Because like, we actually find it our way back home. If that makes sense. What do you love about being from Tulsa? Specifically being from North Tulsa. Just the culture really, like I ain't gonna lie, like when um like when certain people like Jung, like how he uh how he dropped the video and everybody came out together and everybody showed love. Like you can actually see that it was genuine, it was crazy, like everybody was out there. That I'm from North Tulsa, I love that. I love that. Cause when when it's all said and done, like, when they hear my name, when they hear, it's gonna be, they're gonna, where you from, North Tulsa? You from where? Like, even, even like when I went to school and I went to the city, like, you from Tulsa, but they always think Tulsa just so bad, though. Everybody think Tulsa bad, Tulsa ain't bad. Tulsa ain't bad. There is so much more to this story that we couldn't get into, but as timely as ever, art can capture the moment. Let's take a look at some footage from E Money and SDO Bobo. Well, like when they listen to it, they gonna know, like you know what I'm saying, like oh, okay, like he got a truth, you know what I'm saying, like he didn't been through it, he, like he see, like you can see in my video when, like you can see the area, like you can see everything, it's crazy, and that's the street I grew up on. I mean, me, it's like the city plus, like the north side plus, like everything that I've been through on the north side, that's what. That's what make me. Mm -hmm. Like that's what make my music. That's what make everybody be like, like, like you, like it's deep. Like when I listen to your music, it's deep. It's cause they feel that pain. Like they feel, they feel what it's like to grow up. I tell them what it's like. I'm like, like if you listen to my music, you gonna hear what it's like to grow up on the north side. You gonna hear what it's like to like grow up without a father. Like you gonna feel all that. You gonna know what it's like to be a stereotype. Like like kind of the stereotype. What they what they say we are. 
Man, make sure y'all go check out that new tape I just dropped. It's on all platforms. The Forgotten Child, SDL Bobo, and go get it on YouTube. All right, my sister, you least. I love you. Um, oh yeah, go look at uh, go look at my new song. I just dropped Cardi Lease. It's hard. I like it. You, you gonna like it. Every step I take is harder for me to breathe. I know you wouldn't want me to, but I just gotta grieve. The day I lost you, I lost me. Now me and Elijah doing burnouts in the street. Waking up, constantly crying in my sleep. People send condolences like, nah, send me lease. Never thought I'd see the day you had to rest in peace. Trying not to blame myself because you was supposed to be with me. Like it's crazy because I taught you how to read. Taught you how to tie the shoes on your feet. Now you gone, it's like I'm living in a dream. If nobody was, you was always on my team. When they told me the news, couldn't believe it was true. Forever missing you. Stay on the beat, ho. Oh. Came from watching mama struggle daily Holding my head up knowing that I'ma make a way I told you, boy, I got her and we gon' be okay Ain't no more renting apartments, ain't no more section H I can't go back to the bottom, I gotta elevate This for my dog, I can't see him, here at the Mavin Gate Gotta make sure that I'm early so I ain't never late If you was there from the beginning, you gon' get a blade My motivation, look real and my twin, I never seen The life I give you gotta be something they never seen My heart be different, I'm tryna figure out what it means so against the same in between Play. Thanks for joining us today and hearing why we love our community in North Tulsa. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and press subscribe. But remember to hit all in the notifications so you don't miss a single video. Again, I'm your host Gigi and join us every other week here on YouTube for No Cap, the voice of the youth.